Hey everyone, I am making a part 2 video on the software of Katsu Kitty to show you guys how to record your footage on a Macintosh computer. I am not going to be buying any software, I'm going to be using QuickTime to record my Nintendo DS Play, and this is the stuff that you would need in order to do it. Okay, so here are the four items that you need. You will need a Katsu Kitty Nintendo 2DS or 3DS, especially with the Katsu Kitty capture card on the back. And then you need the core that connects the 2DS to the Macintosh. The auxiliary cable is a must. It connects the 2DS slash 3DS to the Mac computer. And if your Mac doesn't have an audio input, then you should buy this Mac inline USB interface. This is a very high quality interface that I highly recommend. I'm gonna leave a link in the description on where to buy it. If it is a little bit too expensive for you, I am gonna leave another link about a lower cost one, but when I used that one, it was very noisy. So I definitely recommend this one, but if you can't afford this one, then the other one will be okay. And now I'm going to show you guys how to use this video record on a Macintosh without buying any software and using QuickTime as the recording software. Okay, this is how you guys record on a Macintosh using a QuickTime software. So we're first going to download Katsukitty's capture software using katsukitty.co.jp slash 3ds view underscore mac.zip so i'm going to click enter and then that's going to give me a download of a zip file i'm going to go to downloads and then right here it's going to have the 3ds view and then i'm going to install that application and then once it's downloaded you're going to then open up the view software and then it's going to say it's waiting and it's spelt it incorrectly, but it's okay. What you also want to do is go to configuration, product key, and put in your um, product key code that Katsukitty gave you in that letter or note that they gave us. So once you do that, you then want to plug in your Nintendo DS and then turn it on. And then we're going to wait for it to connect. And there it is, it's connected for us. And let's say if your Nintendo DS is glitching, I do recommend going to configuration, calibration, and then play with the calibration settings. To turn on the sound, you then go to sound and then you click use the digital sound output. It will then play the sound on the Macintosh, but that's not how we're going to record it. So we're going to turn this back off. And what we're going to do is take the auxiliary cable and then plug it into the Nintendo DS. And then we're also going to plug the other end of the auxiliary cable, plug it into our audio input, and then we're going to plug that into our iMac or Macintosh computer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click quick time and then we're going to click file and then we're going to click new screen but I'm recording this part right now I'm going to show you the audio aspect actually so I'm going to click file new audio and what you want to do is replace the audio with screen like pretend I am clicking the screen recording and right here is how you can choose how to record your audio and so you click the arrow and then you're going to click the iMic USB and then you want to turn your Nintendo DS system all the way up for sound wise and then you're going to click the volume in the center and that's how you'll record the sound and then that's pretty much it then you start clicking record you'll record the sound and then well for audio recording but we're going to do so what I'm now going to do is switch it over to the screen recording section where I do have the recording of the Mario Kart 7 footage along with the sound. 
And then there you go. Now you can hear the sound. And then now what I'm going to do is actually go into the Mario Kart 7 game that I'm so excited that I got. And we're going to give a little quick test. So you can actually get to experience the sound with the video capture and all of it. And I'm going to have to move the mouse away from the game footage so that way we're actually recording the actual game and not realize that we're doing it off of our computers. And as you can tell, the sound works pretty well. It matches up from what I'm doing to, you know, the sound and the visuals are as one, clearly in sync. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a like. If you do like Pokemon content, please subscribe. Leave in the comments below if you have any questions about anything about the capture software or things like that. And hopefully I will see you guys soon.